How we doing today, YouTube? Deeski from Deeski Grills back with another cooking video. And do I have a treat for you? Today, folks, we are using the Art of Flame accessory on the Weber Ranch kettle and making two rotisserie chickens and awesome garden vegetables. Folks, I can't wait to show you this cook, another easy one to do. Let me show you the ingredients, but more importantly, I can't wait to get you outside and show you that grill setup. So here's what we have for today, folks. For our two rotisserie chickens, we will have these on a spit and we'll have it again on that Art of Flame accessory. You'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. But our seasonings for our chicken is very important. So here's what we got going on today, folks. We're going with the all queued up rockin' rooster. We'll go heavy with this awesome, awesome chicken rub. We have thyme, we have basil leaves, we have herbs de Provence, we have rosemary, we also have garlic powder. Okay, we're gonna use olive oil as our binder and we're gonna infuse these chickens with all of those flavors, okay? Now, you can also see that I have butcher's twine, so you know we're gonna tie those chickens up to make sure that they spin true on the spit and we don't have any legs or wings hanging all over the place. So we'll do that as well. Now, I also talked about vegetables, right? Because when you're using the Art of Flame, you're gonna see, we're gonna be able to rotisserie chicken as well as cook veggies on that Art of Flame. So here's what we have for our veggies. We have a host of beautiful summer veggies. Folks, we have mushrooms, we have squash, yellow and green. We have onions, we have red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, and jalapeno peppers. A treat, right? That's all I can say. So you know what we'll do. I'll take you to the cutting board, I'll show you step by step how we're gonna season. We'll get our chickens on the spit. We'll go outside and I'll show you how we're gonna infuse these chickens with awesome oak smoke. And before you know it, we'll be back at the cutting board checking out our two rotisserie chickens and garden vegetables made on the Weber Ranch kettle. I wanna thank you as always for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay folks, so we are at the cutting board. As you can see, we have our two chickens ready. They've been cleaned and they've been dried, okay? What I wanna do now is start the seasoning process. We're gonna let these hang out, sit on the cutting board once we're done seasoning, and then they can soak in those flavors while we go out there and get that grill set up, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab one chicken, and all we're gonna do is use one hand to add our spices and our oils, and the other hand uh, to actually pat all of our spices in, okay? So we're gonna come back with olive oil first. All right, and we're just gonna kinda do a light coat on both top sides of our chicken. All right, looking good. All right, I wanna flip them and do the same thing on the bottom side. So let's do that really fast together. And the main thing here is to uh, get this olive oil on here to make sure our spices adhere to the chicken. All right, and now that we are on this back side, we're going right inside the cavity, and I'm just gonna squirt a little bit inside the cavity on both chickens. You'll see why in a minute. Okay, good enough for that. All right, next up, folks, we are coming with our rocking rooster. All right, and this is about all queued up, and we're gonna go right off into our cavity first. And all we're gonna focus on now is our cavity. I'll show you why in a minute. So let's do rock and rooster on both cavities. Nice amount, okay? We want flavor through and through. So we got that out the way. We're gonna come back now with our rosemary. Get some rosemary added on the inside of this bird. And I'm not using a whole lot. I just wanna make sure to build flavor on this chicken. Now what we're doing on the outside, we will also do on the inside as well, okay? We're gonna come on back now with our basil leaves, right on the inside. Okay, just gonna get about four or five shakes of that. Same thing on bird number two. Building flavor, that's what we're doing now, building it up. Okay, that's that. We're coming on back now with our herbs de Provence. Going heavy with that stuff as well. This is a mixture of all sorts of different herbs and uh, just flavor through and through. 
when you're talking about this stuff. And chicken number two. So we're good with that. Now we're coming back with our garlic powder right in the cavity. Same thing here. All right. Lots of stuff, folks. And now we're coming back with our dry thyme. Let's go with that. All these spices that we just built up is going to make sure that this thing is flavorful through and through. All right, so that's that part. Okay, so the reason we're not putting anything on the outside is because we want that to be absolutely beautiful. When we do this, we don't want it to be messy. So we've taken care of the inside. So what we're going to do now, folks, is go ahead and get ready to seal this up. We're going to wrap these birds up. Then we're going to come back and season the outside. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to come with our butcher's twine. And we are going to wrap this bird up. Both of them. Okay. We'll start with the first one. Okay, I go up under and I try to secure the wings. That's how I do it. I try to secure the wings. Once I secure the wings, I do a crisscross. So you can see that crisscross right here. I flip it over and I secure the legs. I'll show you what I mean. This may be hard to see. All right, we have our legs secured. I do think this is difficult to see, but I'll try to uh, show you again on the other one as well. Okay, so here's what we have. All right, it is secured well. Should not go anywhere. And we'll cut off our excess. Okay, right there. So we secure our wings like we just did. All we're doing is crossing over and putting pressure on it. We come down up under the leg right here, flip it over. Okay, once we flip it over, we're just coming down and grabbing our leg, our two legs. Cross it down and then bring it over to where your two legs are at and tie it off here. And here. Okay. <clears throat> and you can always move stuff around afterwards, but that's what we got here. All right. So now our birds have been trussed. Okay. There they are. So here's our next step. Okay. So we're starting off by putting one of our prongs on. We'll put that right here in place. Tighten that baby down. Okay, and a lot of times you can use a fork to actually tighten these to make sure they don't move on you. So our first prong is in place. We're going to go right through the cavity of chicken number one, come out on the next side. All right, and all we want to do is make sure we get the bird secured. All right, so that's that one. Okay, we're going to follow up with our second bird and do the exact same thing. We're going right through the cavity, out the neck. And we're going to come back with our other prong, which is right here. Okay, we'll open that up. Put it in place. Same thing. Let's secure this bird. Okay, so we're going to come on in just like this. And make sure that our birds are secure. All right, so here's what we have going on. We have our two birds on the spit. Now, since we have this out the way, we can go ahead and season without worrying about messing up the uh, chicken. And we're coming right back again, folks, with all of the seasonings that we just talked about, right? Maybe a little more olive oil to make sure we didn't lose that in the process. And then back with our spices. Heavy coat of the rock and rooster. This stuff's going to put a beautiful color on here too. 
and all of the herbs that I showed you. So I'll add all these other herbs and I'll meet you outside when it's time to check out the grill setup. See you guys in a bit. Okay folks, we are outside and I am so excited to show you this awesome grill setup. So check out what we have folks. We have the world's largest kettle. That's the Weber Ranch kettle. We have the Art of Flame accessory, right? Along with the accessory, I also purchased this rotisserie accessory as well. So here's what we have going on. We have the motor, which is battery powered, okay? So that keeps you from having any cords and stuff in the way. So here's our motor. This setup here is where our chicken will go, all right? Now what I have down in the Weber Ranch kettle is lump charcoal. So we have nice chunks of lump charcoal that we're gonna go ahead and get lit. Now, once this lights and ash is over, we're gonna come back, folks, and we're gonna start adding beautiful, beautiful oak logs to this, okay? So for an example, this is already lit. We'll go right in with oak logs just like that, put it on there, let it continue to ash over. All right, once we get everything ashed over, we'll have a nice aroma of smoke coming up. We're gonna add our two chickens right in the middle and then we'll be at my favorite part of the video and you know what that is. So we'll check that out in just a second. But here's the setup and once we get that lit, then we'll go ahead and add our logs and it'll be time for the next step. I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, folks, now I know most of you who follow me have seen this done multiple times, uh, but this is more for the, um, for the benefit of those who haven't seen the grill gun. So this is a one pound tank. The grill gun is just an efficient way of getting your coal lit, okay? So you just screw that in place, open up the valve, and away we go. Now, as far as how much charcoal I used, um, I would say I used about a half of a bag. So you think about your standard bag, um, maybe 20 pound bag. I may have around eight to 10 pounds of charcoal in here. Now, most of it is in the middle, but I do have a few pieces around the outside as well. Now, I don't want the high intensity heat on this area because what I wanna do here is make sure that we can cook up our vegetables, okay? We're gonna do all sorts of cool cooking today. You guys get a chance to see the world's largest kettle with the world's largest accessory in work. I'll see you guys once everything ashes over and it'll be time to put these chickens on. Catch you in a bit. So folks, I don't wanna miss this awesome infusion of oak smoke on these chickens. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started right now. So you know where we're at. We're now at my favorite part of the video and that's let's get cooking. I'm gonna put this down, folks, and we're gonna get this started. Okay, so we went right into the motor, and then we're gonna put this baby in place. There she goes. Well, folks, we've added these two beautiful birds. You can see the fire coming through. This is oak smoke, which is infusing these awesome chickens. What we're gonna do next, folks, is come out with veggies, and we're gonna start cooking and grilling up our veggies on this art of flame while these chickens take care of themselves, all right? I'm so excited about this cook. Look how awesome this is, folks. This is gonna be amazing. I'll see you guys in a second when it's time to start adding our veggies. All right, folks, so we're no more than about 10 minutes into this cook and now comes the fun part, okay? We know that the Art of Flame is getting warm in all these areas here due to the charcoal just warming up the rest of the Art of Flame itself. So all we're gonna do now, folks, is start adding these beautiful summer type vegetables on here and let them start cooking in tandem with these rotisserie chickens. Two big, beautiful portobellos. Man, I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. We're gonna get some peppers going. I want you guys to see this and just how versatile the Art of Flame is. All right, what do you think? All we need now is time, right? We'll let our chicken continue to cook. We have our veggies going. We'll come back in about 20 or 30 minutes and see how we're looking, but I am so excited about this cook. I think it looks amazing. See you guys in a second. Folks, it's so hot out here. I had to bring the camera inside. I don't know if we lost some footage, but just let me show you how beautiful this is coming along. Look at these awesome colors. We will film for a minute or two and then come back again. I wanna show you how everything is cooking up so nicely. Look at that. We're getting nice char on our squash. Our peppers and onions are grilling up nicely. Come back over, we have our two beautiful portobello mushrooms that you can see here. Our fire is stoking well and we're starting to get nice color on our bird, okay? That's all you can ask for, folks. We'll get back together in another 20 or 30 minutes. Let me show you how the peppers are doing too. You see how you're getting that char on there? This is what it's all about. This Otter Flame is an awesome accessory to do wood fire cooking on your kettle. You see the smoke infusing those birds so you know it's gonna have a light, awesome, smoky oak taste 
along with all those herbal seasonings we put on, folks, we are set up for success. I'll get back with you guys in about an hour and we can see how we're looking. All right, folks, we're heading back out. I wanna show you now our chicken is starting to sweat. So what we're getting now is the grease from the chicken, stoking that fire and infusing flavor right back into the bird, okay? This is kind of similar to what you get on drum smokers where the juice just goes down, it drips and it infuses and shoots right back up into your bird, okay? Now, here's a lot of our veggies. You see they're coming along nicely. It's gonna be time to start pulling some of the squash. Some of the onion is done. Look at the bubbling that's happening. Check that out. I'm telling you folks, we got some really good stuff happening here today. I'm gonna go ahead now. Uh, I'll probably just do it with my hand. I wanna flip this um, portobello over. Look at that. Look at that folks. Just tender succulent, okay? We'll flip this one over as well. You know, I am crazy. I probably gotta get something to flip it with. It's really hot. All right, let's do that. Okay, we'll flip this one over. Don't know how much longer I got here. You can see now some of our squash is done. Look at that, beautiful sear. Our peppers are coming along nicely. Look at that. Folks, this thing is doing an amazing job today. All right, I'm gonna go ahead back out again. I'm gonna start pulling some of these veggies and just let this chicken be the star of the show for the remainder of this cook. We still have a little bit longer to go on our jalapenos, but most of our squash is actually done now. You can see we have a nice, beautiful char on there. These are gonna be yummy, crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside, all right? That's how you want your squash. I'm gonna go ahead now and pull it off and we'll get back together in a second. Let me back up and just show you the shot. Look at that beautiful cook using that Art of Flame accessory on the Weber Ranch kettle. See you guys in a bit, maybe around 30 more minutes and we can check on this bird. But let's get close on the bird first, I'm sorry. Look at this, folks. Look at the crust we're starting to get. You know I like Pam spray, so I've been spraying Pam spray on the outside to make sure that crust is crispy. Our chicken has already bust through. Look at the juices. My goodness, folks, this is amazing. Just amazing. All right, we'll get back together in a bit. Okay, folks, so we just removed all of our veggies minus the jalapenos. I want them to get a little bit softer. You see the beautiful char we have on them. Our flame is stoking right. You see what I mean about those juices, okay? The juices are steady hitting that wood, going right back into the chicken, okay? Let me show you these veggies. Look at this, folks. Look how beautiful these grilled veggies look. Amazing, just amazing. I've already gave a few to my wife. She said they're just ridiculous. She just loves these type of veggies cooked on the grill. Now, let's look at how beautiful our chicken is. Look at this, folks. I'm telling you, we should win an award for these beautiful birds. Awesome, awesome crust. I continue to spray Pam on here maybe every 30 minutes to just keep on working on a crisp crust. We'll start checking internal temps soon. We have a plenty more fire to go, so I'm not worried about heat right now. That's a good thing. And still, I have another log if I have to use it. I don't believe I will though. Look at this, folks. Beautiful, just beautiful. All right, I'm gonna back out, let you see this thing in work. And next time we get together, we will be at the cutting board and check out the final product of our two beautiful rotisserie chickens with veggies made on the Weber Ranch kettle using the Art of Flame accessories. Look at that smoke. My Lord. I'll meet you guys at the cutting board. Okay, folks, we are back and I am so excited to show you the final product of our two oak smoked rotisserie chickens and veggies made on the Weber Ranch kettle using the Art of Flame accessories. Folks, let's talk about what we did real quick. You can see these beautiful chickens hanging out right now. They've been sitting here for about 15 minutes. What did we do, folks? We started off with two chickens. We filled these babies up with lots of dry herbs as well as a rocking rooster seasoning. We did all that internally. If you think about it from there, we put the spit in and all we did was tie these up so we could season the outside. After that, folks, I took you outside and I showed you that awesome grill setup. So we used lump charcoal and we used two pieces of oak wood. Folks, that's all it took to get that grill up to temperature. Before you knew it, we put these rotisserie chickens on and we were at that favorite part of the video, which was let's get cooking. So what do we do after that, folks? All we did was let the chicken continue to turn. Then we brought our veggies out. We had zucchini, we had peppers, we had onions, 
We had mushrooms. We had all kinds of beautiful, vibrant colored veggies that we made on the Art of Flame as the chicken was turning. So the chicken cooked for around two and a half hours, basting in its own juices. I showed you throughout how it kept browning, getting crispy crusts. We used Pam Spray to achieve that as well. So let's check out the final product together. You can see first off that there is juices flowing everywhere. So hopefully you can see that. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and take these off the spit. I'm telling you folks, rotisserie chicken is something special. There's something about the self basting that comes with a rotisserie chicken. All right, let me move this spit to the side. Let's start off with a leg quarter. We'll do that first. And what you wanna do when you're cutting this chicken is you just wanna lightly go and follow the bone pattern. You can just move it, you can see how tender it is. So you can easily follow that and get your pieces cut. So you see this right here? We'll just keep on going right here and just kind of work it, all right? All right, here's a beautiful leg quarter. Look at that, amazing. Here's our beautiful breast with nice skin on it. Let's cut some slices of that and we'll take our first taste test with our chicken breast. Check that out, beautiful crust, tender through and through. Folks, this chicken is like butter. The oak smoke puts a light hint of smoke flavor on this chicken. We have pieces here that are so succulent. Look at this, folks. Mm. Let's, let's finish this right. Here's our beautiful veggies. We'll get us a pepper. Mm. Get us an onion. Tender as can be. I had to stop chewing so I could finish this video out. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what d -Ski Grills is up to. And as always, at d -Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime. It's a passion. Thanks for hanging in there with me. We got an opportunity to see just how awesome the Weber Ranch kettle with the Art of Flame accessory can be. Thank you again for joining me. I'll catch you guys on the next one.